Good afternoon, Oliver here from Mansmet Taggart. You join me in Dad's World Drive today in Billingshurst. We're here to come and see this nearly new three bedroom semi detached house you can see behind me. It's number 13, it's absolutely lovely this one, so can't wait to show you inside. So let's go and have a look around. Okay, so just to give you a bit of orientation before we head inside, uh, so we're in Dad's World Drive now. Um, it's a quiet cul de sac, really peaceful location actually. And there's just a mix of houses here, not very many in the road. Uh, we're just looking at the very end of the cul-de-sac at the far end there. So you can see it's just a mix of semi-detached and detached houses. We're here to see number 13, which is the left-hand side of these pair of semis you can see here. And it's a really nice position, this one. So um, probably the first semi-detached house on the left as you come into the road. And you can see we've got a really nice plot and position because just adjacent is this uh, very small um, but uh, very nice um, enclosed sort of amenity space where you can see they've sort of planted these nice trees and things. And you've got the off-road parking driveway to the front and a side path uh, which will lead up into the rear garden. Um, plenty of parking on the street so you can see got this lay-by here. Well, there's ample off-road parking for visitors and guests and I will just walk you just a little bit down to the end of the road just to give you an idea of where we are. Heading north you'll lead on to Five Oaks and then on to Horsham in that direction you can, you can head west um, from there also very easily and heading south in the opposite direction um, there's a roundabout to the top of that road which if you head, turn right, you'll go straight into the village centre where there's a range of shops and facilities. It isn't far to walk, actually, so really easy walk. Uh, Billingshurst has a great secondary school. Uh, there's a primary school as well, leisure centre and mainline train station, which uh, links to London. If you turn left at that roundabout, you'll head east on the A272, which will take you on uh, towards the A24 road network, which obviously links with the M23, and um, further on to Haywards Heath from there. So let's pop inside and have a look around. Okay, so here we are in the entrance hall. So as you come in, you've got nice entrance hall, all new carpet, just pan around there, get a better idea of the entrance hall from this angle. And first door on your right hand side leads into lovely downstairs loo, which is a good size actually. So you've got the white suite and vanity basin, window to the front there as well. And first door on your left is the kitchen. So really lovely fitted kitchen this. Got a nice aspect onto the street as well. So we've got a range of fitted appliances in here, including the dishwasher, boiler, just tucked away in the corner there. Ideal Boiler, which is a really good brand. You've got a four in gas hob, obviously the extractor. And as you see as a pan round, so in the corner we've got a sort of 60-40 fridge freezer and as you can see, double oven as well. And finally, just the built-in washer dryer there as well. So quality fitted kitchen, lots of storage. Really is lovely actually. And then moving through the house, we lead into the main reception at the rear. So you've got this fantastic sized lounge diner, which is brilliant actually, it really is generous. So that is a very good size six seater dining table, comfortably sitting there. And then we've got, as you can see, plenty of space for sofas, furniture, TV, and then you've got these fantastic bifolding doors leading out to the garden, which is also lovely. So I'll take you out there in a moment. Just also worth pointing out, you've got a generous understairs storage cupboard here as well, for tucking away Hoover vacuum cleaner and things. Leading to the first floor. So you've got three bedrooms, 
I'll take you into the main bedroom first. So this is at the front of the property. So this is a lovely double room. As you can see, you've got a large, looks like a king size bed with cabinets on the side. And you have got there, which you may not spot as I walked in, a fitted double wardrobe. The door here just leads into a really lovely ensuite. So again, similar to downstairs, all lovely, all white suite, nice choice of tiles. You've got the walk-in double shower cubicle as well. And we've got a window to the front. Main family bathrooms off the landing. Again, as you'd expect, all new, all lovely, and all matching the other two. So again, you've got the fitted shower and shower screen over the bath. The second bedroom, or well, both bedrooms two and three are located to the rear. Obviously not currently used as a bedroom, as you can see, but this is bedroom two. Is a good size double. This one with the rear aspect just overlooking the garden and you can see there you've also got a fitted double wardrobe and finally bedroom three which is a comfortable single room as you can see used as an office at the moment but is a great size single actually and this has also got the same aspect over the rear garden okay so just into the garden now so as you can see, being a new home, it's a bit of a blank canvas, but you can see we've had planted all around the perimeter, what look like conifer trees, which of course will grow, not just in terms of height, but also in width. So they will probably all knit together really nicely and no doubt will provide a great deal of privacy to the garden which is a very good size for a new home we've also got this very large extended patio across the entire width of the house we've got pedestrian access into the rear of the garage and we've also got a pedestrian side access which is very useful as well so that just leads out to side pathway and again, just worth noting that just to the side of the property is just a sort of open green space, again, with trees that are planted. So that's only gonna establish itself further over the years. So it's a really nice garden. Also faces west, the plot. So we'll get a generous deal of sun late into the afternoon and there's a nice rear elevation for you as well so always potential if required to add further in the future you could extend over the top of the garage even into the garage if required so plenty of options there as well so that's it that is 13 dadswell drive we hope you like what you see but of course if you have any questions or want to know more please don't hesitate to give us a call